Right, we managed to get the gym. Don't know if I'm supposed to be filming here at all, so we are gonna try and do this on the slide. But anyway, what was I gonna say? We're training arms today. There's gonna be six exercises in this arm workout. Now, we're gonna superset two movements together every time. So we're gonna do a tricep exercise into a bicep exercise every time, okay? And there's gonna be four sets in each superset. We'll put this on the screen so it's a little bit more understandable. So, the first exercise we're going to do is going to be a close grip tricep barbell bench press flat. We're going to do 10 to 12 reps here. I'm going to try and build up the weight throughout the four sets because it's the first exercise and I'm fresh. And that is going to be supersetted with standing dumbbell bicep curls, not alternating, both together, supinated, standard curls. Right, the intensity of your sessions, your arms can recover quite fast. Like they're not a big muscle group and you're not really doing, there's no real compound exercise where it's hitting your central nervous system like a squat or a deadlift. So your rest should be pretty short, like 60 to 90 seconds I would say, tops. So for a close grip bench press, what you want to focus on is as you unlock the weight, yeah? Okay? What I like to do to make sure the tension is kept on my triceps rather than bringing in my chest, especially now that I've got this injury is imagining there's a block on my chest and stopping at a certain point. Okay, rather than coming all the way down to the chest there, I'm stopping here as if there was a block on my chest and just keeping it at that point. It's working all triceps rather than chest as well. Okay, because normally I'd be benching up here, but because it's triceps, it's lower down. Imagine the block's there. Keep intention on the triceps throughout. Great. With your curls, it is a bicep curl. It's not a back extension into a bicep curl. So when you're doing this, I don't want to see any swing. It's ridiculous. Everyone's doing this in the gym all the time. Literally, someone behind me. <laughs> so behind the camera. We're doing tricep rope extensions, super set with rope cable hammer curls. Nice and easy because all you need is one set of the cables. Use the same rope from the top, straight out down, down the bottom. 12 reps, biceps, triceps first, biceps second. Right, first of all, little teaching point. Use your ribs and also the, like the semi, the side of your torso to keep your elbows tucked by your side. Okay. Slightly forward and then go from there, okay? You want to use these as guidelines because you don't want the top of your the top half of the arm moving. It should all come from the elbow, elbow flexion, the bottom. Okay. Try not to move that elbow too much. Full grip on the ropes. Bring it up. Again, using my ribs as sort of a guideline to keep my elbows tucked. From the kill and straight up. Last two exercises are going to be dumbbell skull crushers for triceps first. I'm going to go for 12 reps on this, but on the second exercise and the final exercise is going to be Zotman curls, so like reverse barbell curls. And on that one, because it's the final exercise and I don't have to lift any more load, I'm going to go to failure on that. So literally four sets, 12 reps on the skull crushers, failure on the biceps every time.
counting the negatives, okay? Counting the downward phase of each rep. Now, what this does is it makes my biceps scream and you are increasing the time under tension that your bicep muscle is under. So the more you can increase that time under tension, obviously, it should overload the muscle a little bit more. Dry it with the reps, it makes the reps a hell of a lot harder. I mean, those Zotman curls are like one of my favorite bicep exercises and it brings a lot of forearms in, but you, your arms will be screaming out if you start introducing negatives. And again, it can help with strength because when you go back to your normal one of one down, you'll be a hell of a lot stronger with heavier weight.